Hi, Ed. How are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm fantastic. How are you? Doing very well, doing very well. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, speak with us about tonight's game. No, not a problem at all. Thanks for having me on. Oh, definitely. And um, I just want to start off and uh, just ask, uh, what are your thoughts on just being in New York City and uh, everything that's been going on in regards to uh, Manchester City? Hey, look, it's great. You know, we, um, Manchester City came here last year in the International Champions Cup. And everybody knows the season they've been on to have, you know, it's super successful. And uh, the facilities they've got here in the United States and, and obviously New York with the the relationship with New York City FC, you know, the guys have been training up there and getting the best facilities possible. Um, and it's it's just, a, it's fantastic. You know, the players love it, the coaching staff love it, the fans love it. And it's just a great way to prepare for the season. Okay, and I know you guys are on a uh, USA tour uh, here for the preseason. Um, what do you enjoy most about uh, just being in the United States and um, just the fans that are Premier League fans here? Yeah, and look, it never ceases to amaze me. You know, I've been lucky enough to come over to um, the U.S. quite a few times in Manchester City, and um, every time we come here, the, the, the passion of the fans, the support that they've got um, for Manchester City in the Premier League just keeps getting bigger and bigger every time, you know. Um, maybe five, six years ago, it wasn't as big, um, but the, the coverage they're getting now and the support, especially in New York, but for Manchester City, um, it's, it's getting huge. I definitely understand. I know you guys were actually training with uh, NYCFC, and uh, as you can see, like the MLS is uh, still is very important here in the United States. What do you think will help the uh, overall growth of just soccer and its image in the U.S. the same way it is like everywhere else in the world? Yeah, look, first and foremost, it was great for me yesterday to watch the open training session. You know, um, obviously Manchester City training um, at New York City's tra- uh, FC's training grounds and, and actually seeing them both integrate together, you know, and to talking about the growth of the MLS and, and how big and how better it's getting all the time. You know, we've got our own Jack Harrison, um, who was at New York City, obviously now at Manchester City, had a fantastic game the other night there against Borussia Dortmund. So it shows you that the talent is there um, in the United States. Um, all the way through the college system, um, going into the MLS, um, and Manchester City are always looking to find the talent. And you know the partnership we've got with New York City, Jack Harris, and it just shows you that, that it's there to see, and it, it gives the kids a chance. You know, they can look at Jack, they can find a way through, um, and it's it's just going to get bigger and bigger all the time. No, I hear that, and like I said, you guys were just doing a tour around New York City and going to Yankee Stadium, uh, visiting the Yankees, and. Uh, actually, uh, um, Leroy Zane, uh, he actually did a, uh, a Twitch uh, video game battle with an NBA player at the NBA store. Do, do you believe this is uh, like it's really important to reach out to other sports and other leagues to just um, expose the brand more within America? Absolutely. You know, you've got obviously American football is massive, the basketball, um, the baseball as well. You know, I was lucky enough um, last week in Chicago to be able to go to the Chicago Cubs and and throw the first pitch. Um, last year, when we were in Nashville, I, I kicked some field goals with the Tennessee Titans. So it just shows you that there's a huge relationship to be had with all the other clubs as well. You know, and I know, I said before, maybe years ago, um, soccer was had a long way of catching up with these other sports, but it just shows you that the integration with them now, that it's getting closer and closer all the time. Um, and it's good fun as well. You know, it's great for the fans of um, the NFL, for the, for the baseball and, and the soccer teams to see I was actually going to mention, Paul. I did see that first pitch. It was a it was a good pitch. Yeah, I was really nervous there. about that. Um, yeah, but what an honour, you know, um, to go to the Cubs and and throw it. You know, it's um, an iconic stadium, um, fantastic baseball team with huge history. So to be asked to do it um, was was a fantastic honour for me. I've got to admit, I was a little bit nervous. You know, me to kicking the ball, not throwing it, but I was just glad it got there. <laughs> it was a good job. And uh, I do want to ask, uh, just obviously for tonight's game, what style of play should uh, fans expect from both Manchester City and uh, Liverpool? Hey, look, it's a, there's a huge rivalry between both clubs now, and, and the one thing the fans are going to see is, is two of the, the best teams, not just in England in the Premier League, but two of the best teams in Europe. You know, Liverpool had a fantastic run in the Champions League last year. Obviously, Manchester City blew everybody away. Um, breaking all sorts of records in the Premier League, and as much as people might think it's a friendly, it, it definitely won't be. You know, you've got two two coaches who are two of the best coaches in the world, and you're going to have two sets of players. Um, 
that, that will want to maybe put a little pointer down for the start of the season. You know, and I know myself from playing in pre-season games against your rivals. Um, as much as there might not be a lot that will um, stand on the game tonight, um, but personally and collectively as a team, you, you want to get one over each other. So it's going to be a fantastic game. Two teams that will press um, will work hard, but two teams that will play fantastic football as well. So it's going to be a fantastic occasion for the fans. Okay, and I have to ask, obviously, you have a, a legendary career in your own right. Um, is there a moment from your playing career that stands out most from uh, Manchester City? Hey, look, I was I was very lucky. Um, I had a career spanning 21 years. Um, um, a majority of it um, at Manchester City, it's, it's the, the, the club I love. I love playing for them. I love doing much for them now, you know, and I, I, was, I was very lucky to manage to score a goal at Wembley Stadium in 1999. Um, Although I'm a Scotsman, that was always my dream to play at Wembley in England. Um, so to be able to do that for Manchester City, um, what it meant at the time, and to actually score a goal that um, went down in history is, is a huge honour for me. Okay, and uh, just to piggyback off that, is there a player in today's era that reminds you of yourself from your playing days? Uh, I don't think they're as small as what I am now, actually. So... Um, there's definitely nobody in the Manchester City team. Um, the one that sort of gets compared the most is probably Jamie Vardy at Leicester. Um, mm. He works hard and probably scored a few more goals than what I did. But at the same time, he's, he's probably the, the, the comparison that gets made the most for me. Okay. And, um, Paul, my last question is, I have to ask LZ Manchester City defending champions. Heading into the new season, is, are there any uh, any hopes or anything that uh, that will be done differently to help defend the crown? Uh, look, uh, the, the one thing and the biggest thing that impressed me about, about the team last year, you know, yes, we're talking about them breaking all sorts of records, but it's the age of the squad. You know, a lot of the players, um, if you look through the spine of the team, goalkeeper Edison's 24, you've got John Stones, um, Laporte, Leroy Sani, who we spoke about already, Gabriel Jesus, Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silva, you know, they're all 24 and under. Um, so this team is only going to get better, and you think that one of the best players, not just in the Premier League in Manchester City, one of the best players in the world, Kevin De Bruyne, is still only 26, 27. So they're going to grow as a team, and they're going to get they're going to get better. It's going to be difficult because um, it's hard to win back to back Premier League titles. You know, no team's done that in the last 10 years. But this team, the, the biggest thing that impresses me about them is they always strive to be better. You know, they, they push each other all the time. They've got the best coach in the world that's pushing them all the time. Um, and it's going to be pretty scary for everybody else. Well, tonight should be an electric atmosphere at MetLife Stadium. Once again, Manchester City versus Liverpool. Paul, thank you so much for uh, sharing no, some time with okay. us. Know. Thank you, Ed. Okay, thank you, man. Take care. Here's you too.